one more topic that I want to talk about, and I'm, I wasn't even sure if I wanted to film this video because it's it's not as, as uh, clear cut to me, even when I'm playing, you know, this is part of my creative process, but I don't know if I can give you strict rules on what I'm doing. I can show you what I'm doing and I can let you take it apart yourself. I'm gonna provide you some, some notation for this, but this is the topic of adding, adding extended notes to chords. So, you know, I've taught this whole course from a triadic perspective, you know, one, three, five, pretty much. But there's a lot of other notes, and I like to incorporate those notes into my chords. So, you know, if you keep on going up in thirds, one, three, five, seven, nine, 11, 13, that's all the notes in the scale. And that doesn't sound very good by itself, but if we just pick a couple of those, I'll tell you that um, when I'm playing a major chord, I almost never just play a major chord. I always add that note, which looks like the second. It's more properly termed the ninth because it's one, three, five, seven, nine. And I just transpose it down and an octave. And let, let me back up for a moment. This is, this is a really advanced topic. And so there are some, some people who may, this may fly completely over your head and that's okay. But there are some people who you know, will be watching me in some of these videos and saying, hey, but wait, you're playing other notes. And so just, just, um, just know that this is, this is totally extra, kind of, this is the veneer that I put over stuff to make it sound like me. It's not the meat of the harmon harmonic structure, but it is, it's kind of like the little, the little gloss that you put on top. So just to make the chord sound nicer, I often add that, that ninth, or sometimes I'll add an 11th, which is the fourth. One, three, four, five. And when you're suddenly adding all these notes, you get a lot more nice voicings because remember, when you're voicing a chord, any note can go in any octave. And so throughout the years, I've figured out which, which spots I like to stick those in. I think that's just something, I can show you a few of my examples, but that's just something you're gonna have to, have to work with and work into your own, your style. So with the major chords, I do, you know, seconds and fourths or ninths and elevenths. With minor chords, like an E minor here, I might add a fourth to it, or a fourth and a seventh, or a, or a ninth too. Minor chords are more, they allow you to do a little bit more than major chords. Um, so, uh, you know, if I were to voice an E minor in this, in this way, it's just a very rich, warm sound. So let me, let me play through, through Garrett Berry's again, and I'm just gonna...